kids we're back with another exciting game to kick off this week's Bridgewood Kids Online and I can't wait to jump into this you know in a little bit later you're gonna hear in the lesson about how the Apostle Paul went to Ephesus because the people there needed to know more about Jesus they needed more of his power and in, in their lives and so it made me think of this if we're gonna do more of something usually we stack things up so why not do the cup stack game? If you haven't played this game, it is loads of fun. It's 21 cups that we stack up forming a pyramid structure and then you have to then de-stack the cups, get them back into one pile of cups like this. Quickest to do it is your winner. Are you ready? Go grab your cups right now and let's play along. Somebody else will stack her cups for her, all right? Hey everyone, I'm Dallas. I'm Christine. I'm Taryn. And, and this, this is, is Bridgewood Kids. Kids.
We're so excited to have you here with our Bridgewood Kids Online Experience. We're getting ready to send you to some worship in just a few moments. But before we do that, we got to let you in on our social media platforms. Follow us if you're not already doing so at Bridgewood Kids on either our Facebook or Instagram pages. So much stuff is there that can keep you connected to Bridgewood Kids all throughout the week until you get to hang out with us each and every weekend. And now it's time to get into some awesome worship. Here it comes. But then something absolutely amazing happened. You know what it is. What? They ordered a pizza. No, they didn't. Yes, they did. <laughs> no, they didn't. 
That's the only thing that would take away from them being scared, nervous, or hungry. Okay, yeah, they did not have pizza back then, and they definitely did not have a pizza delivery service. Oh, well, I always thought they did. <laughs> no. And how did God deliver Paul and Silas? He sent that pizza in the mail. How did God pizza. deliver us from bad situations in our life? He gives us pizza! Anchovies, pepperonis, black olives, we're out! That's horrible topping choices. You're fired. You have What's your favorite topping? Feta cheese. Feta cheese? Literally, it is so good. Everyone hates before they try it, but it's the best thing you'll ever eat. Okay. Well, my favorite is pepperoni and bacon. Nope, feta cheese. Okay, okay, so Taryn, just imagine this. Okay. You are having a slice of your favorite pizza with yes. feta cheese. Feta cheese. And you're still hungry. It's the last slice of pizza. No, that would be awful. Right? And your waiter asks, would you like another slice of pizza? Obviously. Yes, because more is always better, right? Exactly. Exactly. Especially when it comes to pizza. <laughs> well, that is what our lesson is about today. Pizza. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's about more. More of a good thing is usually better. It sure is, especially when it comes to pizza or God. And that is exactly what our big God story is about today. Pizza? No, God. Oh, that makes sense. God calls us to more. God sent the Apostle Paul all over the place to tell people more about Jesus. Paul was one of the first missionaries. Did you know that Bridgewood Church supports missionaries all over the world? That is awesome! In today's Big God Story, we learn about Paul traveling to Ephesus. Most of the time when Paul arrived to a new city, he was the first Christian to come to town. But Ephesus was not like that. In Ephesus, Paul found about a dozen men who were already trying to follow Jesus. Paul knew God was calling those men to more. Remember, God calls us to more through salvation. Paul asked the men a very important question in Acts 19 verse 2. He asked them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit? They answered, No, we haven't even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. So Paul prayed for them, and this is what happened in Acts 19.6. The Holy Spirit came on them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Do you remember when speaking in tongues or other languages happened before in our Big God story? Hmm, then everyone started speaking different languages. Uh, je me fais Christine, et vous? Oh, oh no, but I'm Oh, no. But, uh, Speaking in tongues happened on the day of Pentecost, as told in Acts 2, and at Cornelius' house in Acts 10. Soy el queso and Feliz Navidad. So twice before Jesus' followers spoke in foreign languages that they had not heard before, until they were baptized in the Holy Spirit. Speaking in tongues still happens today when a person is baptized in the Holy Spirit. The person who is baptized in the Holy Spirit receives more of God's power and love to share with others. And God calls every Christian to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Acts 19 verses 11 and 12 tells us that God did extraordinary miracles through Paul so that even handkerchiefs and aprons that had touched him were taken to the sick and their illnesses were cured and the evil spirits left them. Wow, God showed his power through miracles. People were healed and set free from evil. That is incredible, that is more. God calls us to more. God calls us to more by being baptized in the Holy Spirit, and God calls us to more by telling people about Jesus. The Big God Story at Ephesus tells us another way that God calls us to more. 
You can see this in Acts chapter 19, verses 18 through 20. Many of those who believed and who had practiced magic brought their scrolls together and burned them publicly. In this way, the word of the Lord spread widely and grew in power. Before they met Jesus, the Christians at Ephesus believed in magic and spells. Magic and spells are not from God. They are evil and can hurt us. God wants good for us, and God wants to protect us by getting rid of all evil in our lives. For the new Christians at Ephesus, this meant getting rid of all their scrolls and anything that had magic or spells or evil. Today, these scrolls would be worth $2.6 million. Wow! But the Christians at Ephesus were willing to burn these things and to destroy these things because they loved God more. We all need to know that God loves us and wants more for us if we would just listen and follow him. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for our lesson today about Paul in Ephesus. Help us to learn more about you and to love you more and more each day. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Now let's send it back for some more worship.
What an amazing time we've had together, kids, with the lesson and worship. And now it's time for Trivia, trivia time. time! That's right. And all of our answers to this week's questions can be found in Acts chapter 19. So our first question is, why did Paul lay hands on the believers at Ephesus and pray for them? And our second question is, how did God show his power at Ephesus? And the third question is, what did Jesus' followers do at Ephesus to get rid of their evil influences? And our fourth and final question is, how does it make you feel to know that God calls you to a life with Him? Awesome. Yes. Well, listen guys, we have had a wonderful day today. We are so excited that you were able to join us, but now it's time for one more thing! Before we close this online experience, we always like to leave you with one more thing, and that is we want to be kids so close to Christ that everyone in the world will know Him. See you, kids! Oh, it's got a clip? Yep. Shh. This way, psh, did you hear that? Psh. It'll be three minutes of you just getting ready. <laughs> oh, I cracked myself up. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Good. I'm glad you think you're funny. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, wait, now I'm having a hard time getting on my belt. Okay, ready? No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I think I'm getting there. Darren's awesome. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Ready? <laughs> okay, here we go. You gotta ask me again. <laughs> Imagine that you are finishing, Taryn, that very last slice of pizza. With feta cheese. Right, but it's the last one. The last one. <laughs> no, let's take two on that. Okay, here we go. Ready? Hey ladies, can Bro. you we're trying to... We're just, like, yeah, we're having we're too laughing. much fun filming. Right. Our, we can't focus. We I'm right. sorry. We Bro, laugh. we're still recording. Bro. 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 Bye. Do your thing. Take 5,134. More of a good thing is usually better. Yes, especially when it comes to pizza. <laughs> <laughs> or God. <laughs> Your hair, you, you look lovely today, I forgot to tell you. Oh, no, you. Oh, stop. <laughs> I'm healed! Yeah! Take that, <laughs> chumps. <laughs> so funny. Okay, I think that's good. There's literally flies on my face. We Ugh. can't do anything with this girl. Once she gets healed, she's out of control. <laughs> it's a wrap! That's what Dallas does. It's a wrap, people. It's a wrap. <laughs> so what Dallas does. Hey kids, we are back with another awesome game to kick off today's experience. As I almost dropped my cups, let's retake it. Go! Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> hey Christine, I'm not ready. I'm not time. ready, I'm not ready. Look at me. We're looking for this woman everywhere. She's in the kitchen What's fixing wrong? herself What's a wrong? plate of Chipotle. <laughs> what do you have to say? I love Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> Hey.
I ran over a baby raccoon. What? <laughs> I know, I told you it was sad. You ran over. But you know what I do when I do that, because it's happened a time or two before, is I pray to God and I say, okay, please put that little raccoon spirit in my mansion in your backyard. Mm -hmm. yes. So I can apologize to him when I get there. Hi, Taryn. This is my booming okay. voice. No, but I don't look like a fool on camera. Dallas. I feel like you already do all kinds of work, dude. Here we go. <laughs> they were adjusting in 21 minutes. Baloney. Baloney. Y'all are just making that up. You should. You're just reading. You're like, and Paul was a great guy. And then he saved a bunch of people through Christ. That's it. It's a lesson every week. Is it? You have a frog in your throat? <laughs> Ribbit, ribbit. It does. It sounds like a little. A frog? No. no. Did you no. eat? Taryn okay. is a frog. Here's what we're going to do. No, because he's so vain. I'm so vain. So, You're so said the lady vain. who put the makeup on, her lipstick You're on. You're so vain. We've right. done like three 70s songs today. What was the other one? Do you remember? Do you remember? Da, 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 September. <laughs> How do I know that song? Da, da, da. Do anyway. you remember the time? Know who that is? Dallas. Michael Jackson. Hurry up. Whoa! Hello! Its head came off. I need I need a tech <laughs> guy. Alright, so are we ready? I've been ready for about the last ten minutes. And the third question is... <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead.